Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Baylor Bears and the Oklahoma Sooners. Number 23 is the key guy on this team. He's definitely someone we're going to watch out for tonight. This is one of the few kids in the nation who can take over a game at the offensive and defensive ends of the floor. The Sooners will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Sooners know this could go either way, Dick. What are the keys to their success tonight? These are the keys for me, Brad. First of all, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Lastly, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. There's the pick. Top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He looks for the bomb. Way off target. to get it to the inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing more ball fake and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 24 makes the shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Trying to go inside for two. Perfectly executed. That was awesome, baby. Trying to feed inside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Let's see that up close. Receives the ball. Good fake. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick. The atmosphere. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Number 14 with the foul. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented the guards out there. Yeah, that helps. They'll work it around the arc. Moving it around the perimeter. He's got a nice shot fake. A high screen. Worth blocks the shot. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He makes a nice shot fake. He up fakes. He goes with a baby hook. And he missed. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Tries for two. In and out. Number zero handles the feed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. No good from the field. Feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. 
Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He shoots from long range. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. The small forward receives the pass. Gets it to go. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's take another look. the perimeter looking for a good shot reverses the ball after having a guy in the post tries to turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move with a deep pass kicks it out the Sooners have a mismatch in the post this may be a good opportunity for them Brad. scorches the net Dick at defense looks tired Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got it in the face-up position in the post. That's a 7-0 run. From the top of the key, way off target. Number 20 is animated and ready to go. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. The ball goes out of play. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. It's good. The center handles the pass. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Oklahoma are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. They're working around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Gave it up. Puts up the shot. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Gave it up. In the paint. The dunk counts and the foul, Dick. He's a high riser, baby. Boy, was that pretty. He wants the crowd to get pumped up, Dick. He is feeling it. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to
to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Here they come with a double team to stop it. For two. He's taking a lot of bad shots out there, Dick. I know he's trying to catch fire, Brad, but it's just not there. It. Can't get the shot to go. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student section looks like they're having a great time. for two. They still don't score. Number 20 picks up the foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad, I'm standing right behind the bench and his teammates are trying to get him going. Although they hold the lead, they know their chances of winning without him playing well are very slim. We'll continue to monitor his performance the rest of the way, Brad. up for two. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Fakes the shot on the dribble, gives it up. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are first to in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. With the free one. Gets it. Second one is no good. Grabs the rebound. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Shoots from outside. Not this time. They're working around the perimeter. For two. Doesn't go. Gave it up. He intercepts it. With a bucket. And in and out. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Set that screen away. Number 20 takes it away. And the fans here are loving the action. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for the foul, makes the shot. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed.
to get the D to bite. Makes the block. The ball goes out of bounds. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. He's got a high post flasher on the inside. He strips him clean. Number 15, while applying pressure, goes for the aggressive steal. Not only is he applying ball pressure, but looking for the aggressive steal as well. Great play to take that to the basket. That's been moved. Not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Questionable shot selection there. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Close play is essential if you're going to be effective. Establish some good tempo. He shoots from downtown. Makes it. For the bucket. They still don't score. Number five. Makes a great move to draw the foul. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? He'll go to the line. Routine. Oh, no. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. There's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Up fake. Double team now. Bad angle. He launches a three. Way off target. On the dribble. Gives it up. The skip pass is picked off. Tries for two. And he missed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Gave it up. He gets the rejection. Transition opportunity coming up. Goes up for two. The lane. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Oh, yes. What enthusiasm. Number 23 sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. It goes in. It's two with the charity strike. Two. 
He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. On the dribble, gives it up, gave it up, takes the pass in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. And a momentary look from three-point land. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the outside, on the low block, looking for contact. And he scores it off the glass. You don't see plays like this every day. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Number 14 grabs it. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. For the bucket. Drains the shot. Tries for two. And off the mark. Draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in the player. Number five is going to the charity strike. He sinks it. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Number double zero gets in on the action for the first time tonight. He has a great presence when he steps on the floor, Brad. First one is good. Second one, no good. Rebounding is such an effort thing. Getting to the glass, blocking out. There aren't enough good rebounding teams in the nation. The fake. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. That's only an offensive foul. No doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They look like they're having a blast. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul called there. I think good call by the official. Not blowing the whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin.
the top of the circle. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. At the half, the Bears are trailing by 26. Oklahoma is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the lock. Patience and poise usually equals points. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. He shoots from the angle. The Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Boy, terrible execution on offense. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen. Long lead pass. Up and inside. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Challenging like that really makes the offense think twice about putting the shot up. It's really almost as good as a block. Comes defensively on him on the low block. Dick. I'll tell you, three quarter position trying to deny. There's the rejection. Here they go into the break. Jumps into the defender. Number 23 was a highly talented recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. On the inside, jumps in. The lay in. the pass in the paint. There's the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Jumper! That was a brick man. That was an ugly, ugly look. Ah, oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Leans in. Got it. Looking for a good shot. Not getting great looks in terms of perimeter threes. Defense really extended on that perimeter line. Perfectly executed. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Number 23 in the paint. You betcha. Steals the ball. They get it out into transition. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Dunkaroo. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. <laughs> I 
isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's a high screen for two. The Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. For the bucket, and he missed. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Got the high pick from right in the circle. Way off target. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribble. Gave it up. Tries for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Little baby hook. I tell you, waste any time. You've got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. This is what you're supposed to do down low, go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Inside. Fakes a jumper. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. The Bears are trailing by 22. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. There's a double team waiting there. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Gonna eliminate those turnovers. On the outside, kicks off the lazy pass. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Can't get the shot to go. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. away way off target the Bears have a player spotting up on the three working it around the perimeter picks off the pass gave it up and the ball goes out of bounds let's go courtside what do you got for us Aaron guys he seemed very focused from the beginning his game face was on and he understands it's his time to perform let's send it back to you thanks Aaron I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Tries. 
for two. Rims out. They'll work it around the arc. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. High post screen. So effective, that screen. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And the ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunities. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Here's a flash from the post up high. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores it off the glass. The Bears are down by 24. He takes the shot. Goes. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. From beyond the arc. Off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. up for two and off the mark puts it on the floor and up and under I tell you really a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move and he does it exceptionally well the students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win oh yes the student body always full of comedy and excitement Spin move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because it has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Ball goes out of play. On the dribble, gives it up. Pump fakes. He looks for three. He gets it to go. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. And Dick, no one can really find the touch from beyond the arc. Hey, this is one of those nights that no matter how open you are, you just can't put it in, baby. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Puts it up, looking for contact. He gets the bucket. With the fake. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Those long
long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. From left of the circle, way off target. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Off the rim and no good. away the pass. Three. Hey, kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Oklahoma are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. And he missed. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. <laughs> nice fake. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Fans will be celebrating tonight, Dick. This one's out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home games, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Defensively, dude, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they don't score there either. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's the trap. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Number 32 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. They are nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vitale. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. That has some folks out of their seats. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Gave it up. Can't get the shot to drop. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't go with the six man for no reason. Picked off. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line. He can't get one to fall.
think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And now they'll bring it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Looking for a good shot. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, you teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. There's the pick with the block. Pushing that basketball, help one another, communicate. Number 14 with the theft. Fast break opportunity here. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. And in and out. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. Got a man in high post. Moving it around the perimeter. He unloads. The friendly bouncers aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. On the outside. Violation. Three seconds. Can't nap in a lane like that. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. In the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game and he led his team to victory. Well I'll tell you nine out of ten times if the focus player plays well you're going to get to the winner's circle. Oklahoma comes away with a huge win tonight in this blowout. After a game like that it's hard to believe that these two teams were close in the standings. So for Nick Vitale and Aaron Andrews I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.